So Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company .com. And right now we're in the stage of our production where we've uh, got good solid uh, rhythm section down and a couple rhythm instruments on top of it. Um, we go a couple different directions from here. We could add more instruments that help build the dynamics in places or add embellishments. We could add, you know, a synthesized orchestra or real strings if we were that wealthy. But I'm thinking at this point, I want to think about maybe adding the vocals and seeing what that sounds like. We might go back and reshoot them again later. But um, let's go ahead and add the vocals. Some things to know about the vocals. Um, they are best recorded without a whole lot of effects on them. In fact, you want the recording itself to be extremely dry. And when you play them back, if you're going to use an effect like, say, a doubler on them or something like that, let's save that for parts of the song that you really want to change the sound in. For instance, the, the chorus. Um, there are certain places you might actually want to actually double, physically double, some of the, uh, of the singing. And that, again, um, is, can be in places like the chorus, or maybe the last couple lines leading up to the second chorus, uh, or wherever you're trying to, to start to build up to, you know, close to the final build or three quarters of the way through the song. You might add some double vocals here and there. Um, that, that's how I would do it. Uh, if you've got so many problems with the vocals that you need to clean them up, well, you might want to put a pitch corrector on them before you try doubling them. But I don't like a whole lot of pitch corrector to them. We'll get into that in a little bit. But, um, so let's go ahead and record our vocals. And record them all the way through. And remember that you're trying to have more plaintive, more strident, more energetic singing on the choruses around the hook line, if you don't have a chorus, or if you do, um, than you necessarily do on the verses. You want to build up to it. And the way, I, I understand that there are exceptions to this, but think about it this way. By the time you hit the chorus, you should be feeling like you're crying it out. Now, one of the things you can do to help that along is adjust the key of the song so that when you hit that chorus, which is often a higher pitch, often a higher pitch than the, the verse, that it is in the last few notes that you have in your range, the last third or fourth that you have in your range. Because by then, you know you can hit the note if you know your lyrics really well. And that actually is a supporting thing. If you know your lyrics, if you don't know your lyrics, you're not going to hit the note because you can't even form the shape of the sound in your mouth. But at any rate, um, if it's going to be, if that chorus is going to be sung up in the strident area of your vocal range where you're having to push to get it, it's going to be a lot more energetic and it's going to step up all by itself. Mess around with that and see what you get. I am Ryan Michael Galloway. We don't need no stinking record company.com.